Hello everyone, today we are playing Sultai Delirium. We're playing uh, Jacob Wilson's list that he got 4th place, or top 4 the uh, PT uh, Phoenix with. So I actually went 9-6, uh, and six playing basically his uh, 75, although I was only running 2 more Egos, and I was running 1 more, uh, or 2 more Leon of the Void, and some, uh, some minor changes, no disfigure in, in Phoenix. I was playing in the GP. I went 9-6. and six. I lost all of my die rolls except for two. The die rolls that I won, I won the game. So, <laughs> um, <clears throat> Yeah, overall it was a pretty good weekend. Uh, I went 5-1 and one in the uh, PTQ. But I'd taken my loss relatively early, so I wasn't in contention for top 8 at any point. So the Pioneer PTQ on Friday, I went 5-1. and one, And then 9-6 uh, <clears throat> and six at the GP. So let's play some Pioneer. Uh, this hand is iffy. I'm actually gonna go with a uh, turn one Babel Passage and turn two uh, Wayfinder. Because <clears throat> there's not too many, like the only decks you want to turn one Thoughtseize are like really aggressive decks. Turn two or turn three Thoughtseize is perfectly fine, especially if I'm against like say an inverter deck right here. Okay, it's an aggressive deck. Everything I just said is bad. <laughs> <clears throat> Can we grab a forest here? <laughs> That's a good pickup. <clears throat> it's really good, actually. I'm gonna pass. We're gonna hold up abrupt decay. A muta vault. Okay. Maybe a pyromancer. No, another soul scar. That's a good sign. Yep. Nice, that's a really good draw. Um <clears throat> And a blooming marsh. Nice, nice, nice. Gonna pass. <clears throat> if they animate Mutabalt, we're gonna kill Mutabalt over Soul Scar Mage. Ramanop Ruined. Okay, so this looks like a, a Ben White's list from the cheapy that he played in. <laughs> he lightning strikes the Seder Wayfinder. Goodbye, Felicia. <clears throat> yeah, I, that, that's why I love Wayfinder. I mean, I just got a land off of it, and they lightning striked it. And look at this, I have an Uro that I can bring back if I top deck an island. And I top deck an island. Look at that! Um... I'm actually gonna thoughts easier though. Oh, even better. <clears throat> oh sure. You gotta move up. Yeah, I'm hundred percent gonna block up this swing. I drew a thought season, which is unfortunate, but not that big of a deal. I'm gonna play this second courser here. <clears throat> and then we'll pass. Yeah, we didn't even have to flash back a row. So against a mono red deck, we're gonna bring in Kalitas. Is there two trackers in the sideboard? Oh. Just figure. Alright, these are the potential six. <clears throat> so Emberpool is bad, and Thoughts Eases are bad. And then Brain Maggot's bad. 
and everything else looks fine. Yeah. Okay. We'll just run it back like this. Um, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, Brain Bag is pretty bad because it dies to everything. But this card, by the way, was such a good tech. And so was Ipnu Rivulet Me. I actually won a game at the at the GP. Game one against Soul Tide Delirium Inverter. Or Soul Tide Inverter, I guess. Um, where they like went for it on a one turn and then they um you know they, they went they had the inverter put like two cards on top and they they would win next turn when they top decked and then I was like uh go to my turn, traverse for Ipni reveal it, mail you four and they lost and it was hilarious. <clears throat> I'm gonna traverse for a swamp. Yeah. Yeah, Jacob Wilson his fucking decisions, his deck building was in, like, uh, it was inspiring how good it was. This man is a good player and is a good fucking deck builder. All right, Soulscar Mage. Look at this. The same exact start. Another Soulscar Mage? That would actually be, the, like, the exact same start. Oh, no. Could be the two mana two one. I think Vyashino you know, Pyromancer or something like that deals two damage when he ETBs. Nope, he's just stopping me. Take those. <clears throat> End me. <clears throat> okay. I wish this was a uh, turn one. But now we have no swamp, so I'm just grabbing our forest. There's are swamp and pass. <clears throat> Animate Moon of Alton Swing, you fool. Nobody's gonna play one crusher. Okay. Uh yeah, whatever. You shouldn't tap out for it yet. Oh my god, are you serious? Damn. You should really be playing around a push. Like, you should be developing your board, but okay. <clears throat> I mean, that was a mistake on our opponent's part. Now they now they give us the uh, tempo, because we have a board and they don't. Um, do I Wayfinder here? <laughs> Let's think about this. Let's think about this. Wayfinder. Or is it Crufix? Did you just Corsure? Yeah, just Corsair. Oops. A Jace is fine. It draws removal. <coughs> Everyone's being really aggressive. It's like unnecessarily aggressive. They should have just played Bone Crusher. Like swung for one, I push it, they played Bone Crusher. I have to deal with the fucking Bone Crusher. <laughs> that would have been bad. I would have gone probably like Wayfinder in shock to hold up push in case they remove the Wayfinder. Like that would have I would have been in a bad situation. <clears throat> yeah, they really uh they really punted there. Wow. They're casting a card, I guess. Lightning strike, they swing for two and play a mountain from the top of their library. I oh, know they already played their mountain. Oh, that's pretty funny. I mean, I guess that's perfectly fine. Like, sure. But not, I know the top card is a mountain, and they have one card in hand, and they have a twelve card. I don't know if I would have done what they just did here. Like, this was super. I don't know. Like, that's a super dead draw. <clears throat> Whatever, man. Am I playing Jace or Wayfinder here? That's the question. I'll just do a Wayfinder, and maybe I can draw an untapped land that, like, doesn't, you know, shock. Alright, well, and there's a Ballista. That's actually pretty good. <clears throat> yeah, Ballista's a great draw. Alright, we're gonna pass. Yeah, of course great against Acrodex, because it's giant, but... It has four toughness, so cards like Moodle Vault, pretty bad. Bone Crusher Giant, actually pretty good. There's that mountain they drew. <coughs> hmm. 
<laughs> Why would you mistap like this? What is this guy doing? Oh my gosh. Alright, well. There's a Scooze. That's a great draw. That's pretty lit. They can pump this up to make it a 4-2 two, a two, and then play Rimrock Knight. Alright, I, I like it. That's lit. <clears throat> oh, they're really... Oh, they're, they're going for it. Oh man, that's great. I wonder if they're going to do both at, like, Liliana. Alright, so they're offering a trade here. Um, do I want to take that trade, though? I don't think so, right? Well, they're not going at Liliana, so... Hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, I, they offer the trade and I can immediately, like, just bring it back with Liliana if I want to. This is just silly. <clears throat> they had a wild slash? What about your Rimrock Knight? What? Alright, we're just against a bad player. This guy's just really bad. All right, Rimrock Knight, hardly knew ya. I, I don't know what, what they were thinking, but okay. <clears throat> Just gonna gain three life casually, I guess. What else is there? Moodle Vault Abbott? And I can exile one of my own coursers. Oh, really? Of course, you get another rabbit. Lava coil. Of course, you get the lava coil. <coughs> That was actually kind of a mistake, because I'm just going to pump. Yeah, our opponent is out of it. Like, they're not coming back from this. Um, yes, you go. Corsair numero uno. Yeah, our opponent is not playing very well right now. Yeah, this game was probably already lost, but they could have done a lot of things better to have not lost it as badly as they did. <clears throat> they swing in, I can trade, or I can jump. I'm probably going to jump. Scooze is way, more, way too important. I could even take it. Eh, no reason to take it. <laughs> 2 0. Good start. Yeah, so Soul Tide Delirium. Um, here's the deal. I think, there it is. I think this deck is really good and really promising. It's a really good mid range deck. It has its issues, though. It loses to decks that go bigger than itself. So Simic Ramp, Mono Green Ramp, uh, decks like that, you can still beat them, but they have better top decks than you. This deck is kind of like the Jund of Pioneer. Uh, no land. <clears throat> oh, this is a snap keep. Oh, yeah. Um, what's, what do I get rid of here? <clears throat> I 
I actually like getting rid of this rivulet here. Every other card is good. I have the turn one traverse for a swamp. I'm gonna go turn two Jace and turn three. Uh, turn turn two Jace. If they don't deal with it, then I go turn three Wayfinder, grab a land, and then Jace. Uh, I get to immediately um, have the Planeswalker out. <coughs> so maybe you want to white devotion. Looks like it is. That's a okay draw. Let's see what we get. We get ooh lots of ooh in a perfect land. To thoughts he's with. Oh man, Emrakul? Do I want Emrakul against this deck? I like all these cards. Emrakul's the worst. Um, But it's like the, um, there's a point where I might need thoughts he's. No, nah, that should be fine. <coughs> uh oh. Uh oh. They have a third land. Interesting. Oh man, night. Oh yeah, this is a uh, this is bad. Oof. <clears throat> probably. Oh man, it's probably gonna be Gideon Ally. and then play a planes and then do a clear night if they want. Or ballista on one and they get to bolster something. Jesus. It's pretty good. <coughs> they get to ping this and swing for one if they want. That's what I would do. Even get to Uro. I'm just bad. Um, I forgot about the swamp. Not that big. Jesus. It's gonna be Gideon. Goodbye, Jace. We hardly knew ya. And yeah, now we're dead to a lot of top decks. <coughs> this deck seems good. And they get to Knight. Yeah. Yikers. Yikers, yikers. That's, that's a fucking battlefield. They probably play the Slay Line as well. Yeah, so if they top deck, uh, if they top deck the, um, the Heliod, we're just, we're out of it for sure. There's a Ley Line, so, oh no, they're just gonna pop. I actually like popping, that makes sense. That's pretty smart. <coughs> Bye, Jace. How are you doing? All right, so let's, so let's think about this. Mortar's Rider's really good here. Um... I need Duro. Let's go in. Let's see. Probably Fable Passage. Creature. Fable Passage. Keep in Rivulet. Creature. Other Uro. I want to get a push. If I were them, I would just keep attacking, honestly. Uh oh. Uh oh. And there's the Heliod. All right, so we die in a turn. Um, yeah, I just die in a turn. I don't know what I can do. 
I have to kill this ballista, I guess. So they're not going to swing. Okay, well, should we take these? <coughs> Find a fatal push or oh well okay goodbye. Okay, mono white. Grasp is good. Trophy is good. Taker is good. Tracker, trapper, wreck sage, disfigure. Maybe Kali toss. All right, what's bad? <coughs> They're running ley lines. This dies to uh, Ballista. Skews is kind of bad. Um, uh, where am I? What else? Anything else? Maybe not Disfigure. What does Disfigure kill? It kills like unbolstered shit. It kills knights. Yeah, Disfigure is probably fine. Uh, Kali Toss? Probably not as good as I think it is. Um, well, it, it does like, it's just a 4 mana 3 4 life link. That's probably fine. This is good. Ishkan's good. This is fine. Um, Got some cuts to make, some cuts to make. Maybe, I don't want to say one traverse, um, but it can be a traverse, yeah. Traverse is not the best. Maybe only one tracker. <coughs> there we go, looks fine to me. Uh, this hand is fine. This is the kind of hand where I wouldn't traverse turn one. I have enough lands that I can wait if they rest in piece two, then I'll traverse later, and that's fine. Not in a hurry, basically. Okay. Go with the swamp, so we can have Fatal push up next turn if you want. And we'll get this water grave, because we have no choice. <clears throat> Hope they don't rip, honestly. They could still be baiting us. Um, <coughs> All right, there's a Heliod, that's bad. Now we need a way to deal with Ballista if they play one. There's a Gideon. That's a blocker. Okay. Rex Sage kills nothing. Oh boy. I don't want to draw a Traverse, so I'm going to Traverse. Get a Forest. Play Blooming Marsh. There we go, Astro, but that's perfect. Gideon, face. Oh no, shit, I didn't play a land. Whoops, well, no, it doesn't matter. I draw, yeah, whatever. 
So this goes to Gideon and this goes to face. But yeah, I can just play the land immediately. <clears throat> and then if they go to blocks, I kill Gideon. Sure. Alright, so they can actually Ballista kill me now, if they have a land drop. This fucking card. Alright. Good thing we have Rex Age. I think it was a good draw, actually. Um... Ten mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten mana, so I don't even. I'm not even going to end step salvage. Whoops. Careful. <clears throat> There's the owl that immediately turns on Heliod. Elspeth conquers death. All right, that's great. That's perfect for my Emrakul. <laughs> that's really good. If they don't rip or something. Fuck! God damn it! Goodbye, my sweet Corsair of Crufix. Alright, maybe we can find a ballista and wipe their board. <clears throat> Alright, um... Plank range to give this a Heliotic counter. Play Heliod. Keep that one. <clears throat> Alright, so they can't top deck up Ballista, I guess. Oh, I guess they can bring back Owl and then, like, search for Ballista. Whoops. That's probably fine anyways. I just need to hope they don't get it. Alright, they got it. <laughs> Fuck it. Whatever. Fuck. Uh, not a good matchup there. Yeah, I have to swing with Owl because I want Emrakul to, like, be a two-turn clock, but they can lifelink up some the Heliod and, like, removing Owl just makes there's, there's that's, like, three damage that I don't take. Elspeth Conquers Death, though, that's a good fucking card. Yikes. That's that's a fucking yikes. <clears throat> yeah, there's a, there were some pretty cool lists uh, running around the GP, though. There was um, there was a turbo, like, Simic Emrakul deck that was 8-0-1 as of day one. It was a lot of... It looked really interesting. Some uh, uh, SoCal uh, Southern California Grinders. I uh, developed it. What do we got? Uh, yeah, it's a keep. 
This is kind of like a mold of six hand and not a very good mold of six, but we have a turn one thought season to turn two abrupt decay if we need it. So this is perfectly fine. Here we got thoughtsies, thoughtsies, my thoughtsies, or abrupt. <clears throat> They might just play, if they go in the long game, they probably, yeah, alright, sure. <clears throat> this might be blue white Eldrazi. No, oh, that's fine. Is that it? I feel like this is a bait. Eh, well, whatever. I kinda need to spend my mana. Fiddle push is good. <clears throat> oh, hardly knew ya. And they're gonna draw probably. I feel like this means they have their own... No? Well, I don't know. We'll see. They might have another push or something, because they knew I had Tracker the whole time. Nope, they just conceded. Alright. <laughs> we take this. Alright. Um, black, white. Good stuff. I don't know about this figure. I might go with these six. <clears throat> um, Ishkana... Eh, I don't know. Mm. I like taking out thought seasons because they have thought seasons. So it's like, we want to, whoever, the person who's going to win this is the person who's going to top deck the best. So like thought seasons and maggots can go. Maybe keeping this push. Let's say we're, let's pretend we're keeping in the skews. Uh, do we want the disfigure? I don't think so. So I'm thinking like getting the trials, allies, and the card, like other just good, you know, white planeswalkers. So let's go with for the cut. It could be Ishkana. It could be Emrakul. Let's go with the Traverse and probably Ishkana. There we go. Because <clears throat> Ishkana is bad against Rip and Lay Down Lord. This guy might even have both. Who knows? Oh, uh, yeah. I'll snap off his hand. His hand's good. We have Grizzly Salvage or Wayfinder and Uro. Yeah, so if they're thought seizing us, like, our top decks are good. So it's better to decide out thought seizes in, like, thought seize mirrors, basically. There's a knight. All right, so it's just aggro. And. You know what? I should have pushed it ASAP, because if he has, like, a protection spell, then I just wasted it. Sure, that's fine. Cool. Maybe plays a better two drop. Scrounger? Just black red aggro, interesting. We're gonna play the Wayfinder. We'll probably jump. Um we want the watery grave because it's my uh has a blue mana for this burrow. <clears throat> yeah, I'll jump. So black white aggro. Cool, I guess. <laughs> it sucks. I'm gonna have to um, like because of this, I have this swamp. I can't um, watery grave and fable passage and like fetch a swamp and push. So I'm gonna play this tapped. I think. It really sucks, unfortunately, but that's how I'm gonna have to play this out. <clears throat> Thought knots here. Gideon. Uh oh. Gonna have to murder strider that. Yeah, this game is running away from us fast.
Alright, this is it. We've stabilized. Okay. Um... <clears throat> no, it's got to be Corsure. Oh, I can't cast Corsure. Alright, it's got to be Tracker, I think. I'm shocking here because I can pay two, draw, make this a 4-3, block the Night Ally, and if they kill it, um, then it's still fine. Yeah, I can take three. Basically, I can take three here because I'm about to stabilize with the Ground Defense. Mood Evolve? Alright, yeah. So, it looks like we're about to stabilize here. That's a good draw. That's a really good draw. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yep, they're done. Uh, I, I should have played the Corsair of Crufix first before I early, but either way, I was good. I actually should have played Corsair of Crufix, like, first card I should have played that turn. So that's my bad. Just remember, that wasn't what I did there wasn't proper sequencing, but I still, you know, I was going to win no matter what. Uh, they, they can't really, they can't beat big fatties like that. <clears throat> Their list is probably just, it's, it's, it looks like kind of poopy mono black aggro with white for, like, good planeswalkers. But you cannot mid range. You cannot mid range with these decks. Yeah, so it turns out the best deck of the GP and the, uh, well, I don't know about the GP, but the best PT deck was Lotus Breach, which no one really expected, but people thought it was good. I didn't really uh, look out too much for it. Grinder A. Alright, Grinder A. Let's have some good games. Oh, jeez. Oh man, is this the kind of hand I can keep? Off the back of a Wayfinder? Fuck yeah. This is for science. Oh no, not Thoughtseize. Don't Thoughtseize me. Do not Thoughtseize me. <laughs> Goodbye, Wayfinder. Hardly knew ya. Watch, they're gonna, it's gonna like, they're snatching that motherfucker. Oh yeah. Uh oh. Really? Mono black aggro? Didn't keep a one drop? Well, it worked. Fuck. Fuck me. <laughs> <clears throat> really? Uro? That sounds like that feels like the wrong card, but land, 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 land. Yes. Brain maggot. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Man, I guess I take a... I take Grasp because Grasp can kill a Brain Maggot. They'd have to draw a Swamp, but it's, 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 it's fine. There it is, they would have drawn the Swamp. <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty smart. They're just going for it. Alright, yeah, we're getting pretty... We're under some pretty heavy, uh... Wait, maybe this is it. This might be it. Yes. Yes, this could actually be it. Um... Oh, seriously? I tried. I really did. Yeah, I can't really win. Alright. <clears throat> Kalitas, Disfigure, uh, Rexage, Astrophy, Hostage Taker, Tracker, Tracker. These are the seven. We're going pretty long game so Emrakul can go. Liliana's good, these are all good. Brain Maggie can go, because his eyes to everything. Thoughts, he's just go. And one more cut. Um, <laughs> probably a Traverse.
This hand is so slow, but I'm gonna have to keep it. Because I can traverse for a swamp and have the turn two abrupt decay up. And then turn three, I might be able to do something. Knight. Knight. Oh, that's a good draw. Um, yeah, Knight has to die, I think. Great. Now it's red for no reason. That was a great draw. That was a really good draw. Um, I think I passed, though. <clears throat> I want to get some sort of value out of Liliana, because if I just plus and they murder Shredder it, it was worthless. I need, like, some sort of value from it. And I can Kalidus if I need to. Like, yeah, they're not even swinging. Like, the more they wait, the better. Um, yeah, they're holding up, like, Swift End, so I'm just going to pass. Like, they probably have a murder Shredder they're not playing from their hand. And now if they play a Rankle or something, I can fetch push, or I can murder strider it. Alright, Rankle, hello. No, I want to do a. Uh, I'm gonna do ballista on two. Yeah, we're not risking anything yet. Like, we're just playing it incredibly safe, basically. Like, that Liliana's Triumph was for the Kali toss. Like, they're holding up, they just have a ton of interaction and removal. So we want to keep our, our best cards safe. Like, that was that was great. Like, you swift ended our murder shredder. Whatever. I don't care. There we go. There's the value we wanted. Now I can shock this in and hold up push. Now we can even minus bring back the list so whenever. Everything's coming up night shadow. <laughs> <laughs> taking forever. I'm at the beginning of combat and then I'll push it. Bye Felicia. You don't get to bring back less of champion in my watch. And they play the murder driver. Sure. <clears throat> oh, 
All right. Now we wait. You know what, I probably could have let them swing with Moonaval to bring back Champion if they wanted to over Ryder. No, they would have cast Ryder anyways, actually. Never mind. That doesn't matter. Yeah, because it would have been... Because I had a Liliana out. There's no reason not to. But yeah, Kali Toss is going to be great. Like, they have to deal with both of these. So let's say they kill the Kali Toss. I bring it back to Liliana. Um, they need to kill Liliana first, and then I, in the meantime, they're dealing with the Kali Toss, which is great. And I have a lot of good top decks, and they don't have that many good top decks compared to mine. Yeah. Um, Corsair, I guess? Okay. Hopefully we have a land on top that I can just play. Or I can even just manipulate the top of my library with Liliana here anyways. Oh yeah, um, I don't need it. Well, I do want a Jace actually, right? I'm just gonna minus two so I can grab like Ballista. Oh, Scoos? Oh, baby. Can I pick something else or no? Okay. Um, I'm going to do Ballista. Ballista's better than Skews right now. And I can always uh, bring back Liliana. I can do um, more stuff with Liliana again. I'm just going to... I'll just pass. Swing and pass. <clears throat> Sacrifice a green or white creature? Not gonna lie, that's pretty lit. I don't really care though, like they swing for two Liliana, that's not that big of a deal. Like I'm not protecting Liliana, like like as long as Liliana lives, it's perfectly fine. Yeah, like I do not care. I'm definitely not chumping with the Pliss, so I have there's no reason to do so. Yeah, they're 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 done. Yeah. Um, 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 maybe take out hostage shaker for a traverse on the draw. Um, you know, this is fine, I think. Yeah, I could take out a tracker. No, I like this. This seems fine. Just you know, Rex changes for Scrap Heap Scrounger and Layla on the Void. Uh, this hand's fine. Kinda of slow, but it's fine. There's a ley line. That sucks. That really sucks, actually. <clears throat> traverse. I guess I traverse for something here. Right? Mm, nah, no reason to traverse for anything yet. <clears throat> Not a good situation right now. Gonna traverse for something and then fatal push the knight on his turn. Let's go with the swan. <laughs> and this is how we worked it up in the book. take this in case they have a uh, wanderer. No, okay. I mean, not wanderer, the um, spawn of mayhem. That's a perfect fucking draw. Holy cannoli. Hell yeah. <clears throat> they definitely have some form of removal spell.
Nice. All they have is answers. Or not answers, sorry. They, all they have is, um... I'm actually gonna fetch here. Can we do an island? Take this watery grave. <clears throat> they probably have a rankle in hand. Yeah. Probably discard. Okay. I'm thinking I'm gonna get rid of this burrow. Okay, swamp. Didn't need to play that actually, but whatever. So now I have a blocker, and if they kill this come out with a murder shrider or something, then I can push their rankle. Uh oh. I'm pretty sure these don't combo. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, alright, just pass. Oh man, really? Yeah, I don't think Kalitos works. Yeah, Kalitos just like doesn't work. That's pretty funny. Yeah, the Kalitos and Leyland are non bow. I think I pushed this wrinkle. Deal one. There's another push. That's great. Guess I'll pass. <clears throat> Damn. Probably knew you, Ishkina. Oh, careful. Okay. Best draw would be like a tireless. Oh, jeez. That's bad. And a disfigure. A hall turn too late. Oh, boy. Seven, yep. All right, they got it. Drew a lot of lands. That happens. Last guy, this hand looks 
Ooh, this ant's fine, I guess. It has interaction. Turn on Thoughtseize or push if we need it. Alright, nothing. Cool. Thoughtseize do. See what happens. Nice. That's a perfect draw. What? Oh, boy. Scales. Yikes. Uh, hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking it's going to be a hanger back or three drop in this. Uh... Mm -hmm. I'm going to make it a hanger back, I think. Right? Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> There's a scale, so that's pretty bad. Now they have a 3-3. Three, three. Okay. <clears throat> uh, we want breeding pool for this set. Well, we already have a watery grave. Um, We have enough. We have a pool, pool, grave, marsh, marsh. So either one doesn't matter. I like having more black sources. I'm just gonna pass here. If they pump, then I uh, kill it in response. Yep. <clears throat> oh, that's such a good draw. Man, that is great. Oh, yeah. Goodbye. Really wish we had an Uro. You know, there's an argument for me milling myself with Rivulet. Oh, never mind. <clears throat> Just gonna minus two. Probably take Jace. Yeah, I'll take Jace. Jace is good here. Sure, that's fine. Don't care. <clears throat> Ballista would be the worst draw for... Yeah, alright. That sucks. Feels bad, man. <clears throat> so... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. They have 6 card types. Cool. They might ping me right now. That's what they should do. Yeah, that's right. Everclo already killed their uh and they drew the oh, that sucks. Um You have to have a target for this ability? I just play nothing, I guess. Man, that sucks. They just got like an extra draw for no reason. It's okay, I have I mean I do have kind of you know a nutty hand. Um <clears throat> mm. 
Yeah, they can't beat Emrakul here. I gotta kill this just because it can wish for something that might somehow win the game. This is such a weird trigger. We're gonna keep the forest in hand. Yeah, I was I was milling myself to find an Uro, so I would have rather played an Uro than a brain maggot, but whatever. Yeah, and likewise, I have to kill Nissa just in case. I know this seems weird because I could have killed him in two, but like Nissa can give him enough mana to do funky stuff. I believe they played the waste. I'm not sure. I wasn't paying attention. But whatever. Finally, I guess we'll traverse with the black mana. What's the pickup? Oh, you know what? The pickup is just Murder's Rider. Swing at face. <laughs> yeah, alright. So we're up against um scales. Probably have ley lines on this side. Uh bring maggots bad against Ballista slash push. Dante's is fine, I think he gets a deck that's running misses. Um they didn't do any graveyard stuff, so Skuze is bad. Uh, Corsure is okay, but not amazing, so I can probably shave some Corsures. I'm gonna shave a Traverse in that case, no matter what, I think. Um, they're kind of aggro, so maybe one Thoughtsies can go. Um, and we're on the draw. <coughs> is Kalitas that good? Yeah, Kalitas is good. It turns off, like, Hanger Back Walker's death triggers. The question is, does Corsure go? Is Ishkanon good? I think it's fine. They're a deck that has a bunch of like attackers, so Ishkanon can help chump maybe for a turn. So maybe Corsures. And do I care? Let me think about Disfigure. Hold on. Like it's kind of like a poopy removal spell. Yeah, we'll take off Disfigure. And one more cut. Probably another Thoughtsies, we'll call it there. <coughs> cool. This hand's great. Snap it off. <clears throat> right, trying to get that 3-2 again. <laughs> Scales, okay. Um, Ballista because I can push down Coil. Also, their hand kind of sucks. Uh oh. It's a good draw. Not, I really wish that I could, um. This really sucks, but I want to be able to, um. You know, I can wait on this Windy Constrictor, actually. Yeah, I can definitely wait. I'm going to pass. I'd rather push this down Coil. Because Windy Constrictor dies to Grasp, which I'm going to do next turn anyways. Yeah, so this is way better. And if it's something worse, like really bad for me, yeah, that's perfectly fine. I just push this and take two. Yep. <clears throat> Get a swamp. Oops. Grab an island. I wonder what 
they take. Tracker? Okay, so that means they have not much going on. Stone coil. That's actually fine. Uh just one plus on the stone coil and pass. <clears throat> not a ballista. Hanger back? That sucks, I guess. Yeah, that kinda sucks. I need a top deck, a land, that's not a land technically, but sure, I will consider it a land. I'm gonna go with Wayfinder, no I can't Wayfinder here. Um... Yes, it's gonna be forest? Is it forest? I guess it's forest. Where's the forest at? Forest. I pass. And then if they swim with walker, I'm gonna trophy it, and if they don't, then I'm going to uh, wait and hold Kalidus. And play Kalidus, that is. Alright, they're being patient. I respect it. <clears throat> That's something I can definitely respect. I play Cletus. We're gonna hit the walker because it becomes a 4 4, and that can kill Cletus. We just need to survive one turn. So, one turn, no interaction. One turn, you gotta land. One turn, do nothing. Come on. One turn. One turn. Oh no, Vivian. I feel like it's Vivian. Oh boy, come on. Don't do me like this. Ballista for three? That's pretty good, actually. We're gonna do it though. We're taking the trade here. <clears throat> yeah, so Ballista, that was a pretty good draw for them. They get to Ballista, basically wipe my board and survive with a 3 3 stone coil. I mean, unless they want to leave, they're not going to leave Liliana alive. They're going to ping Liliana here. That's what's going to happen. Yep. Nice draw. That was great. That's exactly what I wanted. <clears throat> if they swing here, I don't care. I've now broken parity. Yeah, that's fine. I'm at 18, like, I'm in no trouble. The game is won. Uh, because I drew a chase, I'm gonna wayfinder. Whoops. Yep, alright, that's the games. 3-2.
don't know. I, I don't I keep getting not super lucky with this deck, but whatever. <laughs> All right. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one. I'll I'll just add that. Uh, I think this deck is really good. I think if the, if there are bands, um, then this deck will remain a contender. There's a if both inverter and breach are nerfed but remain in the format, this deck will be good. Um, because it can kind of like build its main board and sideboard to beat those decks if it wants to. This deck has a lot of like, you know, you can do a lot of fun stuff with this deck when you have three colors and a lot of mana fixing with Wayfinder. Um, what I'll say though is that if those decks are just banned out of the format and they kind of want this format to be like a mid range fest, this deck is still good, but there are far better decks that are like. Like Mono Green Devotion is really good. Uh, Mono White Devotion is also pretty good against this deck, as you guys saw, just because you can't really deal with Heliod. Um, if I was running like an E2 Extinction, maybe, but even then, it's like one card, you know, like that I would side in. Um, I could probably side out on where you go for that, actually. Mm -hmm. Anyways, um, but there's like some really cool decks out there that like go way bigger than this one, like Turbo Amrakul. Like there was like a Simic, you know, Simic Ramp Turbo Amrakul deck that did well at the, uh, the GP. So yeah, that's this. This deck's really nice. Um, if uh, the bannings are gonna happen today, because today's Monday, so if brain, if um, if the bannings like are, if there's just nerfs, then like brain mag is still good. If nerf it's still good. If the decks are still around, like if they just ban Deku time and treasure druid, and like and you know, I think that's probably what they're gonna do, which is not ban the decks under the format, but just ban like good cards in those decks. Although uh, a, a breach needs some sort of other nerf or if they want to keep it in the format. Probably just like ban Underworld Breach and leave Lotus Field as a deck. That works for me. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.